All right, so here we are out in the middle of the ocean. We're still kind of close to land. And, um... Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're back in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And today, I discovered that you can load the entire Titanic into the game. Yes, you heard that right. We're loading the Titanic into Microsoft Flight Simulator. So this is going to be pretty interesting. And not the Titanic of the Skies, because that would not be very good. Yeah, isn't that like the A380? Yeah, something like that. Well, we're going to load the Titanic in, see if it crashes the game, see if it works, and uh, we'll sail it around. So, yeah, let's hop into it. All right, so here we are in game. As you can see, we've got the Titanic here, and over to the left, we've got a Brazilian aircraft carrier driven by Ben, or being sailed by Ben which is just disintegrated into thin air. So that is uh, wonderful. Anyways, I do want to point out that this model is not super accurate. It's got a lot of flaws to it, but that's perfectly fine for my standards because this is a flight simulator. You're not really looking for detail when it comes to a Titanic in flight simulator. So yeah, we're going to sail this thing out to sea. We're actually sailing away from Southampton, which is also pretty cool. But, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead, make our way out to sea, and, uh, we'll see if we can sink this thing. Don't mind me just behind you, uh... Yes, my stern is absolutely being decimated by your bow right now, so that's great. Let me, uh, free up some space back there. Okay, that's, um, that is some really violent turning you're doing right now. You know what I find interesting is that if you look at the airspeed indicator, there's just this really weird green line that arches yeah, up and I, over. Yeah, I was saying that earlier. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Anyways, we'll ignore all that because obviously this is the Titanic. We're not in an airplane, so yeah. Anyways. Uh, so I've just discovered do not press G or whatever button you have for gear. I can see uh, that you're sinking now, Ben. Yeah, apparently that that is the sinking button. All right, so as I was saying, I did turn the settings down, but now we're going to get some smoother frames, which is always better. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead, get this thing out to sea, and, well, we'll try to sink it with, uh, apparently, the gear button. So, that'll be interesting. But right now, I do want to take a look at some of the details on the deck, because there's a lot of things to take a look at, even with a model that isn't super detailed. So, yeah. Alright, so looking on the decks of the ship here, we've got a lot of cool details and a few glaring issues. Now, I'm not too concerned about the glaring issues. I mean, we've got a massive door there, but... The thing is, is this is Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's not supposed to be a super accurate game when it comes to, well, the Titanic. I mean, this is a modded add-on to the game. So it's not really a concern to me how detailed the model is. I mean, what they could have done is just added a Titanic and mirrored both sides of it, and that would have been it, and it would still look nice because, obviously, we're getting a Titanic in-game. So, well, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. They've even added the telegraph details down here. You can see... We've got stop, slow, half, and full. I mean, they're not really centered properly, but it's still really cool that they add these details because obviously they didn't have to do that or they didn't have to pick a model with added detail like that. And also you can see that there's issues like portholes don't really align properly, the scaling is off, the ship is too low in the water, and whatnot. But yeah, I mean, this model is completely fine for the game that it's in or the simulator that it's in. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool and I'm Really glad that they actually added it to the ship mod. So, yeah, really cool. All right, well, anyways, we have been sailing out for quite a while now, and I think we'll go ahead and skip to when we're actually out at sea, and we'll see if we can uh, sink this thing. So, yeah. All right, so here we are out in the middle of the ocean. We're still kind of close to land, and, um, and yeah, I don't really have any words to describe what that is there, what's happening there. All right, anyways, now that we're out in deeper water, let's go ahead and sink the ship. So it was G, right? Like the landing gear? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, it's working. Um, the water just flooded up to the bridge, dropped down to the uh, B-deck promenade, and stopped. And I just noticed, I don't have any hull, or the bottom of the hull, I should say. Because oh, it's just missing. So that might be the real reason why the Titanic sank, Ben. Uh, do you, do you need uh, rescue, like air rescue assistance? Yes. Aviation Luckily, assistance? we have stopped sinking. So we can transfer all of our passengers over to your ship. Where would you just oh. go? 
Whoops. All right, so as you can see, the ship is now frozen in this position. I believe Ben is on his way in an F-14 to rescue all of the passengers on board the ship who haven't died already, because obviously by this stage, I think a few people may have died during the sinking. Could be wrong, but yeah, as you can see, the ship is kind of just stuck like this. It's shaking a little bit, but it's stuck. It's not sinking anymore, so at least the passengers who are still alive can be successfully rescued. Not sure how they're all going to fit in that F-14, but yeah, we'll see what I'm happens. Yeah, not sure either. And what's also cool is that the ship is somewhat level. I mean, it is listing over to the starboard side just a little bit, and it's also starting to rotate, but yeah, it does look really cool because it reminds me of the 97 film. So yeah, and another cool view from the stern of the vessel. As you can see, it's uh, risen out of the water a bit, but luckily, since the ship has decided to stop sinking, um, everything is okay for now. And wait a minute, is it actually sinking? Hold on, um, that's not good. These people are clearly from a modern time. Um, not quite sure if it's the 90s or right now, well, but... Well, they, are, they aren't going to be rescued because they are time travelers. Well, what if they're um... stuck here? What if they're stuck on the Titanic? They can't get off. The time traveling machine was in the engine room. Or... No, I should say the boiler room because by this stage, the, uh, the engine room is still out of the water. Still doing okay. Yeah, they're, uh, they're up to their knees and icy cold seawater and it does look like it may be sinking a little bit Ben all right so as you can see the uh, crew member standing here which is clearly not Captain Smith is uh, is contemplating whether or not they should lower any of the lifeboats at this point in the real sinking all the lifeboats were gone except the collapsibles and I believe just the boat on this side the cutter boat right over here so yeah not a great situation for the Titanic. Oh, good. Thank you. Oh, there you are in the distance. Excellent. The passengers of the Titanic will be saved by an F-14. So, here it comes. Um, uh-oh. Ignore that. Well, folks, looks like the F-14 went so fast, it completely disintegrated. But, um, yeah, the Titanic is well and truly sinking. Is that a cargo vessel? Possibly. I may or may not have, uh, selected the wrong ship. Yeah, you're still under the name Tomcat, by the way. Yeah, just ignore that. I just used the, uh, the dev mode console. Oh, changed. okay. Um, well, do you mind coming over here and helping us a little bit? And you know what's sure. cool about this is this kind of simulates maybe how the Californian saw the Titanic, well, from, uh, Ben's view to us, but obviously, um, the, uh, Californian... Uh, in relationship to the Titanic was much farther away than uh, Ben's cargo ship over there or tanker so yeah but it's really cool to kind of see uh, what the passengers of the Titanic might have seen as a ship approached them you know imagine if the Titanic stayed afloat for longer and the Carpathia was actually arriving near the end of the sinking so yeah but there it is in the distance and um, unfortunately the Titanic is uh, foundering here can you see us like going down like yes, the can. ship and everybody else like, on board. I can see you, I just can't really see you going down. Alright everyone, all aboard! I'm a train now! Uh. That was the sound of the train horn, I don't know how to make a train horn sound. Or a boat horn or whatever. So Ben, you've said some crazy stuff in the time I've known you. But that right there has topped everything. Alright, so the second ship we're checking out is a smaller vessel, as you can see here. Looks really cool, it's got a lot of nice details on it, and it actually has 3D characters on the deck. So unlike the Titanic with only one 3D character, this has a bunch of other people, so that is cool. Now what's cool is, when you're out in the open like this with a small vessel, you don't really get the vessel shaking or anything like that, so you can actually walk around the decks without having any problems whatsoever. So. Yeah, this is really, really cool. Obviously, no interior, but we do have 3D people, so that is very cool. As you can see, we get a great view here. You've got the land in the distance, as well as Ben in the Cessna 172. And, yeah, so this is really, really cool. And these windows here remind me of the Lusitania windows, so, yeah, nice. Alright, so I've gone ahead and switched my settings to Ultra, and as you can see, my computer is slightly struggling but one thing that I have noticed is that the ship looks a lot nicer here. You can actually see that lights are actually working. Now I don't know if that's just because I've set it to storm and that considers it as like a nighttime event, but I don't know. Looks really nice, but we are getting 
a lack of frames here. So, yeah, but look at that. That just looks epic. All right, we are coming in for a landing. Ooh, excellent. I see you. You know what? I should get out onto the main deck for this. So, just go up here. Here we go. Go on up. Now, I should also mention that this mod is free. So, if you've got Microsoft Flight Simulator, feel free to download it. So, here comes Ben. He's trying to land. Oh gosh, uh, let's go to the stern. Here we go. Nice little viewing area over here. All right, here he comes. He's attempting to land. This is going to be very interesting. He's going down into the water. And um, have you struck the, uh, the water? Yeah, I touched down. Are you bouncing? Uh, only a little bit. Interesting. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye. Ah!